If you're <laughs> watching this right now and you haven't hit the like button, Billy, get on it. Bug your brother. Tell him to do the same. It was announced just yesterday by friend of the show, Scott Mitchell from TSN, that Ricky Tiedemann off of the IL. He is officially instated with the New Hampshire Fisher Cats and is going to be making his minor league debut at double A for 2023 tonight e. as he takes the ball. And um, of course, the number one prospect in the Blue Jays system. So all eyes will be on him. He really had a heck of a showing in spring. Turn some heads. He is not ready for the big leagues yet, according to the organization, but he is getting there. And I think, uh, according to many scouts around Major League Baseball, suspect that he'll be contributing to this Blue Jays team at some point this season. Uh, what would you want to see out of Ricky Tiedemann in double A before he gets the call up to Buffalo? Ooh, good question. What do I want to see? Um, I want to see a very low walk rate. That's yeah. it. I love it. Everything else, I don't care what the, the Ks and the advanced metrics on how fast or how much spin. I just want to see he's got control and he's he's doing what he's supposed Because if he's got a low walk rate, everything else is working out. The thing with Ricky Tiedemann is his stuff is elite. It's already been well stated that he has big league stuff. So what, what needs to happen now, just like Adam said, is lower the walks, continue to hit your spots, continue to display that uh, elite stuff. Does he have a way high we go. walk rate? It, it's not too bad. Maybe double check, but no, it, it yeah, wasn't ridiculous right or anything. It wasn't ridiculous. Um, okay, walk rate in 2022 was well, 3.3 walks per yeah. nine. So, so if he can lower that by a walk per nine. Yeah, if he can get that around two and a half and keep yep. the strikeouts around 13 and a half. I mean, you'll take yeah, that. I mean, yeah, you take but, that uh, every day. You take that every day. Of course, the big lefty probably should get the call up to Buffalo. Um, my guess is before the middle of May. But you know they're going to let him sit in double A for a month or so, get his feet wet, and dominate. And once he's dominating, he will get that call up to triple A well, pretty quick. It's uh becomes a lot harder to ignore once he's in triple A pitching well and you've got Jose Barrios on the mound every five days I don't know it's I'm sure interested to see what this pitching staff looks like uh in the middle third yeah, of the season I know I know yesterday on mailbag we had a, a question about what are the options all the talk about Kikuchi and Barrios and the rope they have if they do run out of rope, what are the options? And the options are not very good. But Ricky Tiedemann is a guy to keep your eye on. Top prospect in the Blue Jays system. And a dude who truly could step in and contribute when he's ready. All the scouts saying it should be this year. Time will tell. Ricky Tiedemann, 78 innings pitched in the minor leagues last year. Is there a workload concern for his rookie season? I don't think any more than you would typically see. I know that they say a 50% work increase, increase over is, the year about, is about what they like to do. So if he was at 78 last year, like they'll 110, probably push 120. him around 120. Yeah, yeah, that's my guess. So, so yeah, they'll they'll be an innings cap. They'll be an innings cap on him, but I think that they will. I mean, I, fingers crossed the dude stays healthy, right? Like that's a, that's a big little asterisk on this whole projection of where he winds up, but uh, as long as he's able to take the ball every 5 days, I mean, the kid should be a contributing member to this Jays team at some point in 2023. Even if it's a a, a bullpen spot by the way, which is uh, something that has happened more and more around baseball with some of these top prospects. Send them up at the end of uh, a year with a contending team, right? Maybe get some innings in the bullpen, similar to Aaron Sanchez. 
when he was with the Blue Jays in 2015 and 16. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye on Ricky Tiedemann. Excited to see what happens with him this year.